Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Deca City. Today we're on episode 8. Sorry it's been a long time since I've done a video, uh, but I'm getting back into the hang of things and making my videos a little bit better, so hopefully I'll get some more viewers and uh, get you guys excited uh, in viewing my videos. So anyways, um, just continuing on from where I left off in my last episode in number 7, I uh, was in giving you guys a tour of the desert. So we're just going to continue on from there, uh, just showing you a little bit of a couple underground uh, railways and we've got some uh, mushroom foundations, uh, probably put some houses on them or, or make like a little uh, mushroom village. Uh, I think that would be kind of cool. Uh, we, there's so many things that uh, I still have left unfinished to do on this on this world. So hopefully uh, you guys will uh, stick with me and and bear with my timing and in following me in building more additions to this world. It's a big world and there's lots to build. Uh, so I hope you guys will enjoy a lot of the future uh, videos that I'll have and the creations that will come forth uh, through those videos. But uh, here we're taking a little look under the Lonely Cabin. It's kind of a little area that I used to use as uh, fighting mobs and things like that. And so it's just a little cabin that's kind of left out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, but. Anyways, uh, we're going to take uh, yonder over here at the industrial area of Ocean City. Uh, this is the top corner of the main map of Deca City uh, before I expanded it on the Bedrock Edition because now I am playing on the Bedrock Edition. Um, I started this world back in the 360 Edition back in 2013 and now we're in 2019. So with the new uh, Bedrock Edition and the updates and things that they've added, it's just been uh, easy to uh, continue on with the new additions. So anyways, um, in the industrial area, this was this used to be a railway um, duplicator, but since this is the Bedrock Edition, a lot of the redstone that used to work in the Xbox One Edition does not work anymore in the Bedrock Edition. So a lot of these do not work uh, like they used to. So right now they're pretty much just for looks. Uh, but hopefully in some later videos either I'll decide to fix the redstone or maybe I'll just leave them as is and because they, they do look good and and as I'll expound on this, the city and stuff like that, it'll it'll still be nice to have them uh, as part of the city. Um, so that was the carpet exchange. Uh, showed you the rail duplicator over here. I think this one still works. It's been a while since I've been over in this area. Uh, this is the sugar cane factory. And here you can see this is the viewing port for anybody that comes and wants to watch the sugar cane basically be harvested. Uh, behind the other doors is the mechanics and things like that. So um, I think this building turned out pretty nice. Adds a nice little feature, uh, changing up the, the brick styles and things like that. And over here we have the melon and pumpkin factory so you can kind of watch uh, the pumpkins being harvested and the melons harvested on the other side uh, like I said it's been a while since I've been over here so uh, they haven't really been uh, working too much because when you're not in that area the facilities don't tend to work if you're outside a certain block radius, I don't know exactly that block radius, but um, I do know that when you're clear across the map <laughs> that it's not going to be working. So anyways, um, we'll go on to the other part of the industrial area. Those were just a few of the additions that I did uh, a couple years ago. Um, over here you'll see 
Uh, this used to be, or still is, a uh, massive storage facility where you can uh, dump in your items and they will be sorted into the different uh, chests here. But this one was only limited to a few different items uh, just because I was digging a lot underground and so I would, I would send them up through an item elevator from deep down below. But uh, a lot of the item elevators uh, don't work with the Bedrock Edition now. Uh, so you, a lot of them have to be redone. Uh, and I haven't had time to come over here and work on these because I've been doing a lot of other builds. But uh, this facility over here is the blacksmithing facility. Uh, in the underground area here I've taken lava that I've gathered from digging down below and instead of just wasting it I put them into buckets and I made a, a storage facility uh, under well, underground storage area for the buckets of lava to go and you can empty the the buckets that get used in the furnace you can drop them down into there so we could reuse the buckets but anyways uh, kind of kind of show you over here how it, how it lays out um, where you throw the uh, lava buckets into one of the carts and it will disperse them into the chest and then uh, what you saw from a little bit earlier is you'll send the chest and it will pick up one block of lava or one bucket of lava uh, so that way you can use it in the furnace for a quick smelting item and stuff like that. Uh, but the next uh, area that I'll show you is gonna be the industrial furnace or smelting area. This is basically just if you wanna smelt a couple, uh, couple stacks at a time. But if you wanna do like a whole inventory, um, I'll show you the industrial furnace, uh, which I got from uh, K1 Inc. Uh, he, he did a, a really good tutorial on on this and so I, uh, I took his ideas and uh, used it in my world so I wanted to give a little shout out to him for uh, giving me the idea to create uh, an industrial furnace system but here you got the anvils you can um, work on your tools if you got to repair them or anything so just something to kind of add to the industrial area. So right here's the uh, smelting. Call it, I've called it the smelting pot, but this is your industrial furnace where you'll actually put like your coal uh, or your fuel into the cart on the right, and then you'll put your uh, smelting items on the left, and you'll send them through, and they'll automatically uh, smelt the items. So as you can tell, I got a couple coal blocks left in there. Uh, but this is for if you're doing like a full inventory of uh, blocks that you want to have smelted or or whatever item that you have. Just makes it easier and and uh, a lot more efficient when you have a lot that you want to smelt. But anyways, that's pretty much the industrial area of Ocean City. Uh, there's still a lot of area that I have to fill in, as you can tell. Uh, all this grass area is empty, so hopefully in the future I'll have uh, a lot more time and ideas to fill in these areas. Because having it as a, a pretty big map, uh, I get sidetracked <laughs> with different ideas and I go through different parts of the, the map and find locations that I want to put different uh, structures or buildings and things like that. So so I'm kind of all over the place when I'm building. Uh, but when I get uh, pretty uh, set on certain items, I'll usually stay in a specific area and try to build that area up. I've been trying to get uh, some more friends to join on my world to help me build uh, more modern buildings and more modern houses and things like that. So um, my son has gotten on to help me 
and build some structures with me. But uh, I kind of showed you a little bit of Cedar City right there. Um, still quite a few unfinished buildings. Uh, as you can tell, a lot of the old structures where I was doing the plain basic blocks uh, didn't really mix it up very much, but now uh, that I've gotten some more experience in things, you'll see a lot more of the modern style uh, building concept. So I hope I hope these ideas uh, will help you out as they've been helping me out in making the the world a lot better instead of being basic cobblestone. Because I know uh, in some of the previous episodes you guys see a lot of the cobblestone uh, skyscrapers and structures because back in 2013 that's what I started off with because I didn't really have a structure that I was going on I was just building stuff to kind of fill up the area but now uh, with all the different styles of blocks and the updates and things like that it's really given me some ideas to recreate as you saw with the modern city and now I'm taking some of those building ideas and bringing them into the plain old um, cities that you see here and uh, just kind of trying to mix it up a little bit so I haven't really done much uh, with this city lately it's been quite a while since I've been in over in this corner of the map uh, but still the same old structures you know the stone bricks the cobblestone the sandstone um, just so simple basic uh, blocks that I started off you know several years ago uh, but eventually you know with the expansion of the world because now that with the bedrock edition it has infinite world uh, I can I'm doing some more expansion a little bit outside the border and trying to introduce some of the newer structures which you will see uh, as we head towards Deca City here, uh, you'll see uh, my most recent house, uh, which my son actually built for me, and uh, he built his house uh, just down the uh, just down the map from from my house, and he did a really good job. Uh, he was watching a, a YouTube video and saw this uh, design and and figured it would be a, a nice design to add to the basic plane <laughs> city that we got going so we're, we're changing it up a little bit and I'll take you on a tour uh, in a later episode maybe the next episode um, but that's my mansion right there that my son built for me uh, you'll get a better look at it uh, in an upcoming episode as I continue on the tour but once I get through the tour, uh, we'll do some gameplay, we'll do some tutorials, and some fun things like that. So I hope you guys will stick with me and, and follow along with uh, my videos and follow along with the builds. Um, I'll bring in my son to, to play and we'll do some joint uh, videos and things like that. So I hope you guys look forward to that. Just gonna kinda go over uh, Deca City a little bit. I know I've showed you guys a lot of this before, but um, this just kind of amazes me with the uh, high-level enchanting table, how everything comes from the bookshelves and goes into the enchantment table. <laughs> I just think that's pretty cool. Uh, so we'll, we'll go down here a little bit further and kind of look at some more things. You know, just kind of showing you the roots where I began. You know, I'm trying to change up some of the scenery in Deca City in adding some color and different designs. As you can tell, I've uh, added some quartz pathways and uh, some wool, trying to add some color to the city uh, versus the plain old cobblestone and everything that it used to be. Uh, just kind of showing you the the rule board uh, when people come onto the world you know I like to have things kind of outlined uh, to have a, a nice uh, play environment so people can 
uh, respect each other and the builds that are that are on here because this is a survival world that's taken like um, you know six years to do this so when people come on for gameplay you know it's just nice to have people uh, follow the rules and respect each other's builds but anyways um we're going to kind of leave that for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed that tour. I'll continue on with another episode here in the next couple days. So thank you for sticking with me.